All right, hey guys, I am back for another Golf Clash video here. Um, this is going to be for a hole six of the tournament. And I am kind of debating here on my clubs. I believe I'm going to put a apocalypse on today. And I'm just going to use the approach of just beating it down there as far as possible on this hole. And then try to hope for the fairway. I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to use Amazon or Nirvana. And uh, the big trade-off here is, you know, the extra yards. I can get, you know, my Amazon, I can get up by the green even with, uh, you know, 20 yards less of a drive. Um, let's go today. I'm going to go with Nirvana. If I don't like it, I'll tell you that I don't like it. And I'll switch to the, um, Amazon throughout especially if I throw away a stroke here I'm really hoping to avoid throwing away a stroke on this one I want to make sure you get your eagle here foremost um, and kind of the secret to that is going to be landing on the fairway with one hop mm -hmm. as long as I do that I feel pretty good about this hole again the only thing I'm really counting on hoping for is that I can get one bounce on this fairway here so I am going to blast this up here I'm trying to visualize you know right off my bullseye kind of where it's landing Try like this. I'm assuming that might be too much curl. Or, yep, I am missing over here to the right. So I have put all my top spin, all my curl, everything over to the right. And I might just try to deviate from that a little bit tomorrow. But as you see, you know, I hit the fairway. That's good. And I do believe with a berserker ball, I'm going to have enough to get to the green. I'm not going to need Amazon. So that basically means one thing. All I have to do is hit that first hop on the fairway and I can get to the green. Now, it's much easier, I know for a fact, with my Nirvana 8, it'll be a guarantee. See, this is also, you know, a safe approach, but uh, here's the problem with his, is if his did go in the rough and got called up, he'd be shorter than I am. So, um, it brings some, you know, some extra things in to consider. Um, you see, the only thing I'm really going to try here is to just thread this up through here. I'm not going to try anything too fancy. And like I said, you know, I'll probably go 1.5 per ring here since it's a berserker ball, 1.6, somewhere in there. Um, I'm not going to do any extra curl or anything. You know, I might just take off a couple of these just so it doesn't, you know, start flirting with the bunker over there. I'm going to go a little bit into power, but not too much because I want to keep my accuracy up. I'm just trying to beat it down this fairway here. And that should be more than enough for me to get the eagle. You see nothing too fancy. And of course, if you have, you know, a little bit extra Nirvana, that shot is cake. If I had a Nirvana 8, my shot would be on point. Like, it, it could still get to the hole. <laughs> like, I'd have no worries. But, um... You know, having that mid nirvana there is really starting to just be a little bit of a problem. It'd be nice to show up in the shop and get one one extra club. I don't know if I get any extra distance, but uh, I could really use it right now. I think nirvana seven is when it actually starts kicking up distance. I might get a little bit more topspin, but again, that would still be you know a couple extra yards would be nice. Now the way this plays, you know, it's straight downwind. 
Uh, there's no real risk here. You know, I'm in here close enough that it's not going to play more than a ring. So you can kind of see, you know, whether or not I'm aimed here or a ring above this. It's not going to change my line at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with this aim here. Of course, just knock in the eagle. And I'm back on track. So it's unfortunate that I wasn't able to get three or five. And then, you know, I just missed out on those opportunities. But, uh, you know, taking advantage of this one, you know, I'm going to make just a minor tweak. I probably am going to keep Berserker in my bag for this hole. And the way that I'm going to do it is probably just, you know, no curl and maybe that same side spin. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Just don't curl it. Just pull it straight back and do my exact same shot. See if I can't get it to hold the fairway and be even longer. And it's because I'm so short that you see me playing it the way that I am. It's between that and the snowball. Here's the problem. If I do the snowball, I could potentially be, you know, 10 yards shorter. Or even more than that. I could potentially be 20 yards shorter. Can you imagine that rough shot if I only drove it 400? Like it, w it would have been a challenge. But it's the same approach. You see how, I, how I've rolled that rough shot? I highly recommend you guys trying to do it that way. And just kind of, uh, you know, spin it down there using that right fairway. Now I'm going to do this with some counter spin. I'm going to do it with some back spin. Uh, as you see, this is kind of where five rings is. If you visualize five rings up, that's kind of my landing point. So I'm going to go at least another five on top of that. And then on top of that, I'm going to still go at least another two. And I'll also counter this. And you see it is getting quite up here, but it is coming down relatively slowly. It's, it's a really hard shot when you don't have Guardian in your bag. You just got to try to cheat the best that you can to get that ball to still come down the hole. And But as you see, you know, it was enough to take that shootout down and uh, we both got our eagles. So we're both well on our way in this tournament. Um, you know, 10 under is going to be a good score. That guy's already at 10 under. Um, but I am still on pace for 11. I'm assuming that, you know, 9 is going to be a gimme for me. I'm just going to, you know, model the drive that I did yesterday. That you guys saw me do on Pro. And I'm just going to do it with a Kingsmaker. But, uh, we'll talk more about that when I actually get there. And, um, meanwhile, I'm going to set up my bag for hole 7 here. So I will see you guys uh, on the next hole.